we're cleaning out the art room at Triune Mercy Center where they come and express themselves in art pieces. We're trying to get the shelves cleaned up for an open house next weekend. This is Dice Clanton, Carrie Shumpert, and Kathy Hughes. They're waving. We've been doing lots of moving and cleaning. We moved everything that was in this room out and then moved another whole room into this room and organized it on shelves. Well, another church is working with us also, so we have gotten to know some of them. But yes, within our group, some of us didn't know each other, so it's been great. We're building a wheelchair ramp um, so that they can have easier access here. And there's six of us on the crew, and we're just getting started. Lots of weeds, Lots of weeds to pull, so Hands on Greenville can come in next week and plant. Inside, we're fixing a sink. We're yep. moving some cabinets. We're I'll organizing show you around toys. There. And cleaning. I'll and cleaning. In here, we are cleaning up cleaning up the toys, like books and stuff. Hey, we're, we're here helping the Fasus and we're serving Shepherd's okay. Gate uh, okay. home for homeless women and we're helping the old call hospice, putting together love packs for them. Uh, I'm helping Tia as she helps us uh, move stuff from one place to another and we're just glad to be here. I think this is my... I my... Second or third year doing this, and I enjoy every bit of it. I'm in the basement of the Free Medical Clinic for Greenville, and we are working on disposing of uh, expired medications that have to be disposed of properly. We are getting ready to fill up buckets of uh, thousands and thousands of pills that no longer are useful to anyone and we must make sure that they're disposed of safely. Um, some of us are also working on filing charts and um, also checking medications to see if they are ready to be disposed of and such. This house will be used for the Homes of Hope intern men. We have about eight men that we're housing in our intern program. Right now they live out in Easley, South Carolina, and we're going to be bringing them in closer to Greenville area where they're working. And so we're going to use this house for that. The house is called the Gideon's House. And uh, it's just another uh, another one of the, the assets that we have at Home of Hope for our men that start housing them. Uh, what we do, we are a housing ministry. And we build houses. We help low-income families to get into affordable housing. But our manpower is made up of guys that coming out of a drug and alcohol background. And that's where our intern program started about nine years ago. We're at Greenville Literacy Association and we're painting the hallway you see behind us and the classrooms next door. And bathrooms and library. library and uh, the crew today on the yard sale site is pulling out all of the things that we've been collecting for almost a year and putting prices on it, moving it into the gym, getting ready for the sale that will be this year on Friday afternoon and all day Saturday uh, because we have so much more stuff than we've ever had. The gym won't hold it. Uh, we'll have to have a lot of stuff out in the parking lot and the crew has been working hard since early this morning putting prices on all the merchandise that will magically turn from people's unwanted furniture uh, to pay for paint and building materials and cabinets uh, to help people who have tremendous needs in Forest City and Lake Lure, North Carolina. Great stuff and um, it's twice as big as it was last year so I expect everybody to come shop on the 27th and the 28th. Be here, be square. As people come in, we give them a bag, uh, you know, thank you, Carl. Uh, people come in, we give them a bag, it has a rundown of, you know, the items that, you know, they would like to have. And some people have been, you know, bought everything or just one or two. And, uh, but the biggest thing, you know, is just, just the food pantry is low right now. I mean, a lot of people don't think about summertime being the biggest need, but you have children out of school. You know, they don't have, the, they don't have that meal at lunch that they would otherwise get at school. And a lot of people are tax season, a lot of people have money just taken out, you know, and it's donate, it's moved to other things, paying their taxes, and a lot of people don't have a lot of more money to donate. So, uh, you know, and uh, Keith Trout from United Ministries was telling us that this is a very needy time. The cupboards are bare, and not only at United Ministries, but I'm sure at a lot of others around the around the community. So uh, the food drive has been great. So we've handed the bag. People go in, they've uh, you know fill the bag up, drop it off to us. That, you know, when they when they walk out, collected actually some money. People say, hey, I don't have time to give my food. And, and uh, but here's some money. And, you know, 
my wife Jennifer, who's inside shopping right now, but uh, we didn't know what to expect, and uh, Peggy and Ron came out and helped us out, and uh, this is the first time we've done this, and it's been great. The, uh, the outpouring of support from the community, and Bali's been very gracious to work with us. It's uh, been a surprising turnout, a lot more, a lot more than we expected. It's been a blessing, and uh, to see how people pull together and other, you know, other churches around here, Laurel First Baptist had several of their members come by and tell us had a great job and how they're doing the similar thing and they've been very supportive and purchasing food for the for the United Ministry Food Bank. So it's been a, a big blessing to come out here and do this. We have met lots of new people today. Um, we met Jerry, who's the director of Samaritan's House, and we met Carolyn, who is in charge of the clothing closet. And then we met our wonderful volunteer, Kathy, who volunteers at Samaritan House and even came in today after working third shift at the Waffle House. So we've met three new people today and um, getting a lot of stuff done and getting things organized for them. Uh, people really use it. Yes. And they're so grateful for these clothes. And if you have anything you want to volunteer, if you want to volunteer anything you want to bring us, we'll be happy to take it. <laughs> this is the Roland McFerrin house. It is a uh, duplex, a transitional housing situation that's uh, owned and provided to us by the Greenville Unitarian Universalist Fellowship. And we have a couple of families who stay here at a given time after they've lived in the congregational rotation and uh, somebody's employed and they're ready to move forward, then we could have families living in these units uh, you know, for a couple of months or a little bit longer if they need to. We have 22 of unit, these units all over the county. Uh, more, more than half are sponsored by congregations. For example, First Baptist, uh, through the efforts of the missions committee and other groups, uh, the foundation, we uh, co-sponsored the house at 8 Carter Street in uh, Nickel Town, and we got the Saver people working on the house at 58 Baxter with uh, Rick Joy and his group. This is my friend Gonzalo Flores. Gonzalo and his family uh, have been living here. He's employed here in town and is a wonderful dad. And uh, they've done very well since they've been here. He has offered to help with the renovation today. What we're doing is replacing the window so that this house will be more energy efficient. Gene Marin and uh, Brian and all the other groups that are here are going to do a terrific job taking the old windows out and putting new energy efficient windows in. We're doing whatever the women tell us to do, primarily, you know. Life can be a mystery, sunshine through the rain. Storms may blow, hope can grow if you want it to again. It could be you, it happens too, as life's just rolling around. When one dark day a storm blows in and turns your world around, we can be the hands and feet. Someone's praying for And then God can do great things through you That's what we're living for Wind and hail, gusting gale All come crashing down But there's no form that shapes your storm That hope can't turn around can be the hands and feet that someone's praying for. Then God can do great things through you. That's what we're living for. How you go and what you do. Let the world see God in you. Be the sun breaking through. Drying out the rain Once it's gone And the storm moves on The sun comes reaching down And then love will grow The seeds we sow On any kind of ground We can be the hands and feet That someone's praying for God can do great things through you, that's what we're living for. We can be 
see the hands and feet.